Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a beginner's guitar lesson about finger picking. Uh, most of the time, people have a pick in their hand, and they're strumming like that. Uh, but with finger picking, your fingers do the picking. Just what it sounds like. You're using mostly your uh, thumb and your first finger, and uh, as you get going and get better, you mix in all the other fingers right there. So for this lesson, I'm using a tone that I built for the Fender Mustang series called Acoustic Hall. Uh, you can download it for free today here on my channel, along with a bunch of other tones that I've created. And subscribe today for more guitar lessons, tones, uh, tips, gear reviews, and more. All right, let's hop into it. Okay, so with finger picking, uh, and this is a really basic introductory lesson, um, I'm gonna start with um, the bass note of any chord. So here I'm in D, and the first thing I usually do is just use my thumb. So you gotta get used to using your thumb uh, on the bass notes and your fingers on the high notes. You can, tip, you can go anywhere you want, you can move around, but typically your thumb is closer to here, and your other fingers are closer to there and you can pick individual notes or you can pick whole chords. So I hit, uh, for example, hit my thumb on the D chord and I'm on the D note, which is the fourth string open. And then I use some fingers here to either go, or I can hit it uh, all together, three fingers like that. So how do we do that? Um, again, uh, here I am in D, and I've got other videos on how to play all the different chord shapes, but on a D, uh, the fourth string is open, so I'm not playing anything with my left hand, and I'm hitting my thumb there. And the, the hard part as you're learning finger picking is you have to um, use your left hand and hit the right notes, you have to use your right hand and make sure you're hitting the right strings. Like if you think you're uh, wanting to hit that note, but you accidentally hit that string, um, you're in trouble. But then you also really have to keep a rhythm going. With strumming, now I'm strumming with my fingers, uh, with, with finger picking, you have to get, you have to keep the rhythm going yourself. You have to keep a nice cadence. Uh, and that, that takes a little bit of work, uh, but you can get there for sure. So, so before you even move your left hand, before you go anywhere, work on the right hand. Like forget going to three chords and doing all these notes. Just play a D chord. It can be an A chord, it can be a G chord, but for now I'm in D. And I'm just gonna play that, but I'm gonna work on my right hand, so. So let's actually start right there. I'm gonna put my thumb on the fourth string, and I'm gonna take my first finger, and I'm gonna hit the third string. Again, I'm just playing a D. Don't even worry about this hand. See, I use one finger there a little bit, or I use my thumb. Typically, I'm going thumb, finger, and you can see I just have a rhythm. So start small. Start with just two strings, for example. Then add in a third. So I took my next finger, my third finger, and I hit that second string. You can do any beat you want, any rhythm you want, but just try something, stick with it, get in a rhythm and in a repetition, and then start adding in strings. Now, I don't typically use my fourth finger. Um, it's just a habit. Um, the best finger pickers or really accomplished ones use all of their fingers and they're constantly moving around and they've got complete control and mastery. Um, this is just a basic one. Uh, So for that, again, I'm just playing the D chord, but I'm hitting those three notes in order, four, three, two, and then the third string, and then the first string. So 
-hmm. So it's a bit of a spider there as you move around, but that's the key. I would start slow and simple on two strings, add in the third and add in the fourth. And then once you get um, busy, uh, once you get um, proficient at doing that and you feel like, okay, I've got the right hand, I just do that exercise you know, uh, without even moving your left hand. I mean, maybe sometimes your left hand gets tired from playing the D chord, play a different chord. Um, you can also play no chord for a little bit. I'm gonna set my finger down and now I'm gonna hit the second, third, and fourth strings. That's part of the G. So that's a way to take a break from your left hand. But uh, back to the D. Now you remember I said the thumb usually hits the bass notes right there? Well, one of the things I do with my D chord is I take my thumb and I bring it around to the sixth string and I'm gonna hit my right thumb and hit that. So check this out. Now I'm transitioning to a G chord. To an A. And the whole time my thumb was playing the bass notes on the right hand side. Now at the end, I grab all of them and you sort of take your thumb and push and you take these three fingers and pull. It can be anywhere you want. As long as you're playing a D chord, for example, right there that I was ending with. Right there, I'm using my thumb, I'm using all three fingers, and I'm plucking the chord like that. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can do individual notes, or chords like that right there. So um, that's really it. You use your thumb for the bass notes, you use your other fingers, you start slow, start on one or two strings, even start without any left hand on that G, and get into a rhythm. As soon as you get that rhythm down with your right hand, then you can start adding in more strings and then more um, fingers as well. You can start to use that extra finger and then you can start to move with your left hand from chord to chord. The key is just progress and uh, grow slowly. So that was a quick look at finger picking. It's complicated but fun once you get the hang of it and it really opens up a whole bunch of possibilities in terms of uh, playing songs that you know and love but also writing your own. If this was helpful, subscribe today at my channel here at Steve Guitar and check out my other guitar lessons, tones for the Fender Mustang amplifier series, uh, gear reviews, and more. Take care, see ya.